Here's an interesting LEGO Technic gearbox concept I've been playing with lately. I've done a bunch of gearbox designs before based on the planetary hub part, typically trying to simulate the way that traditional automatic transmissions work with planetary gears. But I think this one here is maybe one of the more interesting designs I've come up with. It's reasonably heavy duty and can stall the single XL motor in both gears, but <clears throat> I probably wouldn't trust it with more than that. Anyway, so the working principle is like this. We've got these three 22 gears here that can slide to shift gears, but it's not like a traditional sliding gear transmission in a few ways. So we've got two, two positions. In this position here, we've just got those two gears locking this 28 tooth gear and this 28 tooth turntable together so they rotate as a unit. Um, the 28 tooth gear is driven directly by the motor, and the turntable is directly attached to the planetary hub. So that, then the motor shaft also runs to the middle of the hub through the CV joint. <coughs> and then, because of that, we've got the body of the hub and the shaft of the hub mechanically locked together, so the whole thing has to rotate as a unit at a 1 to 1 gear ratio. If we shift gears up to here, this 12 tooth gear is fixed via the axle hole on that cam piece. So then all of the 20 tooth gears are locked in position. And then as a result of that, the 28 tooth turntable and the hub body is also locked in position. So in this case, the shaft from the motor will rotate the inside of the planetary hub and rotate the output at the full five and a half ish times hub reduction. So if we take a look at it here, <coughs> We've got the high reduction. Under load, the hub wants to rotate, but it can't because the gears it's meshed with through the turntable are locked. The hub allows for very high torque, so you'd twist the axle pretty easily in this use case, but it's just an example. And then if I shift the gears, it's not really recommended to shift while it's moving because it kind of has to lock it up, but it'll do for this video. So then you see that they're all rotating at the same speed. It's rotating much faster down here. That versus that. And yeah, solve the motor here. Here, I don't know that I... I feel like I just destroyed this axle pretty well before the motor was solved. It's a very high torque gear. So anyways, it's, I think it's a quite interesting gearbox, fairly realistic to real automatic, probably annoying to shift because of the sliding gear part, I guess there's kind of a reason I didn't build something on this mock-up, because it would be annoying, but reasonably heavy duty, and a wide gear ratio spread, and fairly bulletproof too in a lot of ways, at least if built right, so yeah, it's an interesting little concept. Maybe someone will find it useful.